Hey guys, welcome back there to Craftsmanship. My name is Dustin and today in the shop, we're gonna be making a wooden sword. Now I've made a bunch of different wooden swords. I've made them for my daughter, I've made them for all of her friends. I made them for my wife and I made one for myself. And mine, as you can see, mine is broken so I need to make a new one. So I figured it'd be a good chance for me to show you guys how I do it. It's a really easy process. Let's get started. Now for my measurements and for the design of the sword, I'm going with some historical references and I'm pulling them from Records of the Medieval Sword by Oakshot. This is a really awesome reference and uh, my design is kind of somewhere between the Type 13 and the Type 18, which are medieval swords from the 14th and 15th century. Now, the cool thing about these swords is that they're really simple and really easy to make and you can make them out of scrap, any type of regular dimensional lumber that you get from the hardware store. These are both, uh, this one's made out of pine, this one was made out of oak, and they're both three quarter inch thick, which is the standard thickness. When you get this, the whole sword will be made out of basically that board and then the guard will just be a second piece that's made and that's just turned sideways, but you can use that same board. I'll be using this off cut of black walnut because it's really pretty, I don't wanna make my sword out of something pretty, but I am gonna be cutting it down to three quarters of an inch. this way. The nice thing about using thicker wood is I was able to get two sword blanks out of it. One is just slightly bigger and it's like a full three quarter. So I'm gonna use that one and then I'll use the second one as uh, material for my guard. So I'll be pulling about seven inches off of that, which will still leave me plenty of material for a short sword with the rest of that one. When I'm marking out my blank, there's a few key measurements I want to put. Now I do the whole profile of the blade, but really what's most important is to know where the blade length is. So I marked that first and then I drew a center line. That's going to be important later when we're marking off and when we're grinding down the bevels. Um, then I marked the height of my guard and I used my material that I was going to use for that guard to mark that. We're going to leave that full dimension square because that's how we're going to attach it. It'll be a lot easier to attach it when it's full dimension rather than shaped like the blade. And below that, I marked out the profile of the handle, so the four inch, and then tapering down to make the double lobed hilt, and then the shape of the pommel at the end. And then I also did the profile of the blade on the main blank. That'll give me something to cut out later. The last thing I did is I flipped it over and did my center line down the opposite side. I wanna have that as well, because I'll be grinding out my bevels. And I also marked off the transition between where the guard and the handle goes, because we're gonna need that to cut that out. Now, if you want to use a diamond cross section for your blade, you can move on now and just cut out your profile and then grind in the bevels. Now, what I want to do before I do that is I want to put in a fuller. So this is the kind of groove that goes down the middle of the blade. And I'm going to do that while my blank is still full dimension. I'm going to be using the 2x72 belt grinder, and these are both Revolution grinders um, from Brian House. Thank you, Brian. Um, but you don't have to use a grinder. I mean, I have these. You can use a regular... Um, a regular belt grinder, you could also use a angle grinder with a flap disc on it. Anything to grind the bevels in really just to show that angle is really what you're looking for. And these are just fun swords so they don't have to be perfect. Now that I have my fuller ground in, I'm gonna cut out my profile. I'm gonna do the blade and the handle. And I'm gonna use my bandsaw, but you could use a jigsaw. It would work just the same.
I'm going to draw my center line down the middle of the edge and I'm just going to eyeball it where the center is. I'm going to use my pencil to mark that. Now I can put my finger here holding everything nice and tight, find that center line and then you just slide your finger up and down that edge holding the pencil in the same position and we can mark that edge all the way down. All right, now that we have the bevels ground, um, I'm probably not going to do too much more than this. This is with a 36 grit. I'll probably, I'll, I'll, at the end, I'll kind of go over it with a 220 just to smooth it out, but I don't have to go too much further than that. What I want to do now is start shaping the handle. Now I'm going to kind of hit these corners to kind of octagonalize it, and then I'll kind of smooth it out a little bit. And I'll also finish the pommel. I'm going to start working on the guard. The cool thing about the guard, the way that I do it, is I'm just going to mark everything out, then I'll cut it in half, and then I'll cut out the hole for the blade, and then we'll super glue it all back together, and then we'll shape it on the grinder. Two inches by two inches by three quarters of an inch. Tight. And now we have a little bit of a gap front to back. So we'll just take that over to the back to the bandsaw, clean out the inside just a little bit more. Nice. Now we're talking nice and tight. Now that we have the guard on. We'll go ahead and super glue this back into place and then we'll shape it.
It's actually starting to really feel like a sword. And then we gotta shape the guard. I'm gonna start with 80 grit sandpaper and then I'll move up through the grits to 220 and then we'll do our leather handle wrap. Wrapping the handle in leather is what I think makes these swords really cool. I mean, you could use anything. It doesn't have to be leather. It could be rope. I've used string before. I've used brown and black, but leather is really cool. All right, guys, well, how awesome is that? I'm super excited with the way this turned out. I love this black walnut. The fullers are great. The leather wrap is great. I'm really excited to have this back and now to go along with my costume, the Renaissance Festival, along with my wife and daughter. Just a fun project and a really easy project and something that you guys could do. It's not, you know, I have all the shop tools here that I'm using, which makes it easy for me. But again, it's a pretty simple project and it can be done with lots of different tools. Try it out. Let us know what you think. If you do try it, you know, take some pictures of it, post it on Instagram, tag Devin and I at the Art of Craftsmanship or at the Art of Camera Guy. We love to see what you guys are doing as part of the community. Comment down below. Make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been a blast, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.